Thank you, cruisers, for joining us today, and welcome back to our daily cruise news updates. We have five new stories coming up as a cruise line ambassador addresses passport issues, and also flooded cabin nightmare on board one ship. Watch these videos and more brought to you directly from cruisehive.com. The 110,000 gross ton Carnival Freedom has officially set sail again sporting her brand new iconic whale tail winged funnel after successfully completing her dry dock in Cadiz in Spain. Her hull has now been repainted in the new red, white and blue livery that first debuted in 2021. Carnival Freedom is now sailing a 14-night transatlantic cruise from Barcelona, visiting Valencia and Malaga, the Canary Islands and Bermuda before she will arrive in Port Canaveral on November the 6th. Just in time for Halloween, Disney Cruise Line has revealed a new and spooky lounge experience that will debut on Disney Treasure when she enters service in December 2024. The concept of the bar lounge is based on existing ghostly attractions found at Disneyland and at Magic Kingdom in Florida's Walt Disney World Resort. It will feature spirit-inspired cocktails in a spooky setting, as well as offering haunted mansion parlour merchandise and houseware souvenirs. So cruisers, will this be a spooktacular occasion on board? Let us all know your thoughts in the comments below. Canada's Port of Vancouver in British Columbia wrapped up a record-breaking cruise season, having welcomed the highest number of cruise guests in its history. Holland America Line's Koningsdam departed the port on October the 24th, officially closing the port's cruise season, which saw a record 1.25 million guests visit the destination. The arrivals number reflects a 54% increase compared to 2022. A record 332 ships called or operated round-trip sailings from the port, a 9% hike from last season. Carnival Cruise Line has responded to guests' concerns about the need to hand in passports for select sailings with reassurances that this is indeed normal procedure. Guests boarding Carnival Freedom as the ship returns from dry dock have been startled to learn that they must surrender their passports for immigration processing in Spain. While it can be disconcerting for travellers, Carnival Cruise Line brand ambassador John Heald has explained the process to guests that passports collected on embarkation are stored in a safe on board, while the immigration officials from Spain come aboard to check the required documentations. It may sound like something straight out of a Hollywood film, but two new videos have been uploaded on TikTok, showing water flooding the stateroom and pooling in the hallways aboard Carnival Radiance. The first video is just six seconds long and was posted mid-October, showing the massive water accumulation in the hallway. The incident apparently happened in the early hours of October the 17th, when Carnival Radiance had departed Long Beach the evening before. Nearly a dozen crew members are busy in the hallways with clean-up efforts in the longer video. At this time, there's no indication of what happened to create the internal flooding. And that wraps up today's Updates Cruisers. My name is Paul and I appreciate you watching the video. For more coverage of the news topics we have discussed in the video, you can find them on our website on cruisehive.com. To stay updated with the latest news, please show your support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Have a good day, cruisers, and I will see you in the next video.